this is Robert Burridge, and I'm here to help you save some money in this new free art lesson. Uh, one of the things about uh, an artist is they always complain about the cost of framing their paintings. I'm going to save you millions of dollars. Here's a painting. What I do is uh, I actually glue the paper right onto a canvas. And so this is what it would look like. The uh, paper's finished. It's been varnished. It's been photographed. And now I'm going to put it on a canvas. So I, uh, it's a great look. And the galleries that I'm in love this. It's lightweight, no heavy glass, no big frames, no mats to buy and all that and get dirty. So it's a pretty clean and very contemporary look. So this is the painting done. Let me show you how I put it together. You start off with the painting. The painting is done. It's finished. I like it just where it is. It's been signed. It has collage. It has paper all. It's everything I like about my painting. So it's done. Next thing I do is I get a canvas a little bit larger than the paper. And notice I've painted the sides and about an inch in with uh, some neutral tone, maybe a dark gray. I don't try to use a color to match it. So you kind of edge it off a little bit like that. I make sure all the, it's all nice and square. And I can see the edges. I have a little bit, a little, about a quarter of an inch of the canvas showing. I kind of like that look. Not too much of a canvas, but it gives a nice finish to it. So I said, yep, it's perfect. That's how I like it. And this is what we do. I take gel medium, a lot of gel medium. That's the only glue I use in my studio. Take a whole lot of stuff, and I just literally put it all over the whole canvas. All over, just get lots of it on there. I also put a whole lot on top of the back of the painting also. So I have this surface is sticky, this surface is sticky, and now here we go. We put it right on top, move it around, don't worry about the glue showing. In fact, this is kind of a messy process, but by the end result, it's really nice. Now, this gel medium will dry clear, so you won't see it. So we push it down in here, get out all the air bubbles in here. Sometimes we'll use a roller or another scraper starting from the center, and you get rid of all that excess adhesive. It comes out, falls over to the side. Oh, it's really labor intense and messy, but boy, again, the end result's beautiful and I'll push it all out. Then if uh, there's any excess, I'll just wipe it off, wipe it off on all four sides like this. If you have a canvas and it starts to push down like that and not resist, you can actually add up uh, a couple layers of magazines underneath it to keep it from pushing down. That's a good idea. So I like to stack up lots of layers of uh, half inch gator board or foam board. It's a temporary uh, core, you might call it that. So now it's not going to go anywhere. Now here's the best part. It's uh, almost like pressing flowers. You're going to get some plastic, a plastic sheet. Now this plastic is the stuff you get at the hardware store. I like to use polyethylene. Make sure it says polyethylene because nothing sticks to it. Polyethylene. And uh, I happen to like to use four ply a three ply is fine too, but I like uh, the four ply polyethylene and it's oversized. I've put it on top of this, and as I said, it's like pressing flowers. You just get a big board, this might be a sheet of plywood or masonite, and this is where it gets to be really high tech. And now you put a, a weight on top of it. We're pressing flowers, remember? It could be a gallon or a couple quarts or sometimes a cinder block, as long as you're pressing it down with a weight. Weight 24 hours. And then you take off the weight, take off this temporary board, nothing sticks to the plastic. It is so ready to go. And now we're finished. And all I need to do next is uh, put the wiring on the back and off to the galleries it goes. That'll save you lots of money. As I said, it was labor intense but it uh, saves you lots of money. It's a real nice contemporary presentation. For more tips and techniques, check out my other free art lessons and my DVDs. And to see a whole lot more painting techniques, make sure you go to robertburridge.com, and I'll see you the next time.